Tuberculosis TB, is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The discovery of the bacterium responsible for TB is credited to the German physician and scientist Dr. Robert Koch. On March 24, 1882, Koch presented his findings on the tuberculosis bacillus to the Physiological Society of Berlin, providing the scientific community with a greater understanding of the cause and nature of the disease. It is worth noting that tuberculosis has been affecting humans for thousands of years, with evidence of the disease found in ancient Egyptian mummies and other remains from various periods in history. However, it was not until Koch's discovery in the late 19th century that the specific bacterium causing the disease was identified, paving the way for further research and the eventual development of treatments and vaccines. Tuberculosis TB, is primarily an airborne infectious disease caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The most common route of infection is through inhalation of air containing the bacteria, which are released into the air when a person with active pulmonary, lung, TB coughs, sneezes, speaks, or sings. The tiny droplets containing the bacteria, called aerosols or droplet nuclei, can remain suspended in the air for several hours, and others who breathe in these contaminated droplets can become infected. Once inhaled, the bacteria can travel to the lungs, where they can begin to multiply and cause infection. In most cases, the person's immune system is able to contain the infection, and they do not develop active TB disease. This is known as latent TB infection, and the individual is not contagious in this state. However, if the immune system is unable to control the bacteria, the person can develop active TB disease, which can spread to other parts of the body and cause various symptoms. People with active TB disease are generally contagious and can transmit the infection to others. Although the primary route of infection is through the respiratory system, TB can also infect other organs and tissues, such as the lymph nodes, bones, and kidneys. In rare cases, TB can be transmitted through consumption of contaminated food, like unpasteurized milk from infected cows, or through direct inoculation into the skin, such as through a wound or during medical procedures. However, these modes of transmission are much less common than airborne transmission. Tuberculosis TB, can be either latent or active, Latent TB infection does not cause any symptoms, and the affected person is not contagious. However, active TB disease does cause symptoms, and the person can spread the infection to others. The symptoms of active TB can vary depending on the affected organ or body part, but the most common form is pulmonary, lung, TB. Symptoms of pulmonary tuberculosis may include persistent cough, lasting for more than two weeks, which may produce mucus, pus, or blood, hemoptysis, chest pain or discomfort, especially when coughing or breathing, shortness of breath, fatigue and weakness, unintentional weight loss, loss of appetite, night sweats, fever, usually low grade and more common in the afternoon or evening, chills. When TB affects other parts of the body, the symptoms may differ based on the organ or tissue involved. For example, TB in the lymph nodes can cause swollen lymph nodes, and TB in the kidneys may lead to blood in the urine or kidney dysfunction. It is important to note that TB can be more severe and present with different symptoms in people with compromised immune systems, such as those with HIV, AIDS, diabetes, or those receiving immunosuppressive treatments. If you suspect that you or someone you know may have symptoms of TB, it is essential to consult a healthcare professional for proper evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment are crucial to prevent the spread of infection and improve the prognosis for the affected individual. The treatment of tuberculosis TB, typically involves a combination of antibiotics taken for an extended period to ensure that the infection is effectively eliminated. The specific treatment regimen depends on whether the patient has latent TB infection or active TB disease, as well as the drug susceptibility of the infecting TB bacteria. Latent TB infection. In latent TB, the bacteria are present in the body but do not cause any symptoms, and the person is not contagious. Treatment for latent TB is essential to prevent the development of active TB disease. The most common treatment is isoniazid which is taken daily for six to nine months. Alternatively, 
A combination of isoniazid and rifapentine can be taken once a week for 12 weeks, or rifampin can be taken daily for 4 months. Active TB disease. Treating active TB disease requires a combination of multiple antibiotics to effectively eliminate the bacteria and prevent the development of drug resistance. The standard treatment regimen for drug-susceptible TB involves a two-month, intensive phase, followed by a four-month, continuation phase. During the intensive phase, the patient takes four antibiotics, isoniazid, rifampin, athambutol, and purazinamide. In the continuation phase, the patient usually takes isoniazid and rifampin. Treatment duration for active TB disease may be extended to nine months or longer, depending on the severity of the infection, drug susceptibility, and the patient's response to treatment. Drug-resistant TB, such as multidrug-resistant TB, MDRTB, and extensively drug-resistant TB, XDRTB, requires longer treatment durations and the use of specialized antibiotics, which may have more side effects. It is crucial for patients to take all prescribed medications exactly as directed by their healthcare provider and to complete the entire course of treatment, even if they start to feel better before the treatment is finished. Failure to complete the treatment or taking the medications irregularly can lead to drug resistance, treatment failure, and a higher risk of spreading the infection to others. In addition to antibiotic therapy, patients with TB may require additional supportive care, such as pain management, supplemental oxygen, or treatment for other underlying health conditions that may affect their recovery. In some cases, particularly for drug-resistant TB, patients may be referred to specialized TB treatment centers for expert care and management.